What's your ask your husband's permission story? Doesn't matter if you have a husband, obviously. What are your baffling stories of a man apparently owning your body? I was at a routine checkup and my husband at the time came along. They asked what medications I was on and I verbally listed birth control. The doctor switched his gaze to my ex and asked if he wanted kids. My ex said yes and the doctor asked if he'd like to talk about easing me off birth control so I could have kids. My ex said yeah, sure. I had to tell the doctor that I was still in the room and didn't want to ease off my birth control considering we were in marriage counseling for my ex cheating a week after the marriage he insisted on. The doctor said we obviously needed to talk and left us to talk. I set my ex straight and ended up not getting off birth control, but instead switching to an IUD. A lot of men have proudly declared to me that they would never let their woman be a bartender. Men ask me one Australian dollar LL the time what my boyfriend thinks about it. A dollar sign one inches he likes that I have a job. My favorite is when a guy followed that with, because I know the messed up things I say to women when I'm drunk. I was looking into donating my eggs years ago. The clinic wouldn't even see me without my partner present. Not even for a general information session. It was also a requirement that he signed a form giving his consent for me to proceed with any discussions. And I was given zero autonomy. The same clinic, however, accepted semen samples from any male at any time with no partner involvement whatsoever. And the icing on the cake. They paid men for their samples while women weren't allowed to profit from their eggs. My wife studies everything we buy. Example we just got new refrigerator. She has read to the end of the internet on brands, features, etc. She knows her shit and honestly is smarter than me. And I'm happy for her to take the lead asking questions. I get a kick when sales guys are trying to talk to me and not her. Dude you are fucking up not including her. When I first started going to my stylist, I wanted my long hair cut into a short bob. She asked if my husband was okay with it. She's had so's come in and yell at her for cutting hair off. Holy hell. I assured her that my husband has zero say in how I choose to wear my hair. I went out with my ex to an ice cream dessert parlor. I'm a pretty small size. Gym regularly. ETC ETC. And I was starving and wanted a damn waffle. Ordered the most ridiculous thing I could find on the menu. Server looked at my ex and went are you okay with her ordering that DUDE? I disclosed my bisexuality at a routine sexual health checkup, to which the nurse replied what does your boyfriend think of that I was single at the time. She then proceeded to lecture me that if I wasn't so promiscuous I've had sex with a total of three people in my entire life, I wouldn't need to be there, and that my future boyfriend wouldn't like that I've been with so many people. I didn't manage to get a word in during this entire three minute tirade. I was at a computer repair shop for my laptop. My partner, male came with he is way more touchy than me so i figured he could tell if i was being ripped off just in case but he stayed nearer to the back of the store looking at computers guess who the computer store guy talked to was it the woman who was actually speaking to him standing right in front of his counter and holding the laptop she wanted fixed no he was basically yelling across the store to my partner i would ask a question he would yell the answer to my boyfriend and then later that week when the computer guy messed up and we went in to speak to him, he had the nerve to tell my boyfriend I was being emotional when I called him out for shady business practices. Their store closed down so I win. When I was being promoted from intern to full time at my current job, my boss asked me if I was sure my husband was okay with this. It was crazy to me to think one, that my husband would ever be mad at me for getting a full time job and two, why it was a prerequisite in her mind that I get his permission. This didn't happen to me, but happened to my sister and her wife when they moved from Tennessee to Maryland about 10 years ago. They used a local Tennessee moving company to pack up and move their stuff. When they got to Maryland, they found that a bunch of stuff had been pretty decently damaged, and that it was obvious their belongings hadn't been packed right by the movers. So my sister called the company to complain and see if they could get a small amount knocked off their bill for the damages. The owner refused to give her any sort of discount, and asked to speak to her husband. Because, as he said, women are just not rational about money. My sister responded, excuse me, I don't have a husband, I have a wife. And if you'd like to speak to her that's fine. But she'll say the same thing I'm saying. The owner then asked her if she was a Christian. At which point my sister hung up. Called the Better Business Bureau. And they compensated her and her wife for the damages. 
Almost two men at account mostly medical. I had at the time undiagnosed endometriosis. Now diagnosed and a huge list of medical sins. In horrific pain for years. I had to take my husband to the obgin to get my first exploratory because they were busy trying to tell me periods hurt. No way did I bleed that much and wait another six mo to see if it fixes itself. Fortunately for me, my husband at the time was beside himself with all these problems and wanted to help me. He lost it on the doctor, and I had my first of many surgeries in two weeks. My 30 minute exploratory took over three hours. My husband thought I died or something since they acted like it was all in my head no big deal. My scar tissue was so bad that it had one ovary tied up while wrapped around my colon etc etc. Repeat every six months or so until a massive flip out from me and my husband to get my hysterectomy. To the point of what if another one of your children dies, you want to be able to have another. Like my daughter who passed from SIDS, or my miscarriage could be easily replaced like a goldfish. And yes, they wanted his approval which even pissed him off. Saying that I had every right to do a medical procedure to help me live my life. I'm trying to get sterilized and I've been asked this outright at least four times. I'm not even dating anyone, yet this hypothetical man has more say in my reproductive autonomy than I do. One doctor even said they would consider it only after I got married. It's like I have to be considered someone's property first, because it's only acceptable to take away my fertility when my owner decides that they won't use it. It's 2019. What is this shit? My husband and I have a rule, if the purchase is over $500, we need to discuss it. Anything under is fair game. However, since I'm the only one that routinely buys large dollar amount items, I will try to run it by him prior to making the purchase if it's over $150. So, I was making a quilt for a friend, went to the store and spent $200. The cashier asked me if my husband is okay with me spending that kind of money. Fabric is fucking expensive. I explained our rule and walked out. Too bad it was the only decent shop in the area for quilting fabric. Not owning my body, but I inherited a house from my family and have been the one who has been most involved with the renovations. The other day I was asking a large company about a quote on new windows and the female representative asked me when my husband would be home as well for them to come by and give us a quote. I told her that he is fine with me making the decision on renovations. So anytime I'm off work is okay and she legit refused to make an appointment with just me there. She said they will only come out if he is available at the same time. I was in disbelief and still am. When I got my first tattoo, everyone in my family would say things like what if your future husband doesn't like tattoos men don't like tattoos and piercings you're never going to find a man that finds you beautiful. You're ruining yourself it was so gross. Recently, my mortgage company called me several times in a row and when I finally answered, the rep said, why don't you talk to the husband and call us back? I said, why would I hang up and call back? He said, well, I'm not the person who handles this type of account so why don't you talk to your husband and have him call us back? Why would I tell my husband, who knows nothing about refinancing, that you're not the person to talk to, and then have him, who knows nothing about refinancing, call you back, who can't help us with the mortgage I set up? Um I guess I could transfer you right now. Yes, you can. Mine is kind of the other way around, it was a you don't need your wife's permission story. So just after we got married, we were looking for a business to invest in, specifically a bar or cafe because that's my husband's area. I had to miss a bunch of showings with the real estate agents because there were a lot and I work a regular office job. One place looked reasonably promising, but my husband obviously wanted to discuss things with me. Maybe have another look before we made any decisions. The old guy who owned the place told him you don't have to ask your wife. Let's make the deal and then you can just tell her your decision when you get home. Yeah, we didn't buy that place. I was getting my hair cut from a bob to a short pixie cut and the hairdresser asked me if my now ex-boyfriend was okay with it. I said well it's my hair and I don't have to ask for his permission to cut my hair. She said she just wanted to make sure she wasn't going to have an angry boyfriend hounding her demanding to know why I'd had my hair cut. Because you know, I have to ask permission to cut my hair. He didn't actually like it and preferred it long but hey ho I loved having short hair grinning face with clenched teeth. This doesn't quite fit what you asked, but our tax system is messed up. It doesn't matter if you file jointly or separately, or if you're married, if a woman gets a tax refund because she paid too much, and she cohabits with a spouse, 
the refund cheek goes in the name of the her partner, even if he's unemployed, didn't pay any taxes, and all of that money is hers. Doesn't matter. It makes me so fucking angry.